Radio was about messaging. TV was about messaging. And when the internet came along, we thought it was about messaging, but it wasn't. It was really about a dialogue, a connection with customers. The next generation of banking, we welcome Rec King, accounts HSBC, Cathay Pacific, and IBM amongst his clients. He's also an industry advisor on the Huffington Post. You know, yeah. technology has tended to be impersonal. We still want that personal flavor that we get with a face-to-face -face interaction. But this relationship that Apple's building with their customers, and you think about the banking environment, when was the last time you saw someone camping outside of their bank? <laughs> What's the difference here? Think about this. Maybe in the future you walk in with your Google glasses into a car dealership and you'll be looking at this car and your bank will be able to tell you whether you can afford it, whether you're pre-approved for a loan or a lease for that vehicle and how much it's going to cost you every month. This could be happening in real time. And you're looking at this flat screen TV and your bank reminds you or your phone reminds you or your glasses remind you that if you buy this, you won't have enough money to pay your rent next month. That's good advice. This shift in behavior from customers means that banking is no longer a place you go. It's something you do funneling them into a branch to sign a piece of paper and open an account. This way of banking is, uh, is, is soon to be extinct. For companies like Starbucks today, mobile payments have already become a reality with almost 30% of all payments done by the Starbucks mobile app. Being able to take your phone and use your phone to pay at a point of sale or use your phone to withdraw cash from an ATM machine. Is the advancement in technology transactional in its nature or is there potential to do more with your bank in terms of relationship and advice on the mobile phone? It's changing the value of business. It's changing the value of advice. And it's their connection to community that will differentiate their commerce model across this platform. The real opportunity for social media though is not marketing. It's creating connections with communities that aren't possible through other mediums. The difference with mobile is context. I can get to you before the transaction, during the transaction, after the transaction. And that's where you guys have to think about retail banking. Owning the interaction. Owning the customer as his day-to-day -day banking.